Welcome to Learning Spanish with Mr. A. So, here what I have is an additional video about the greetings. So, you know, I kind of want you to know the basics when you introduce yourself, you know. Things such as, uh, well, hello, good morning, how are you? What is your name? My name is. See? Those are like, we never think about those as being crucial, but I mean, seriously, if you go somewhere where they speak a foreign language, if you introduce yourself to somebody who speaks a foreign language, you're going to need it. So, the first one that you got here, you know, we, saw, we talked about the good morning, good afternoon, good night. But what you're looking at here is when you leave the place. See, for instance, you're going to say, see you later, you know, see you tomorrow morning, or see you tomorrow afternoon, or simpler, you know, just goodbye, right? So, I got them here and I want you to look at them. Take the time to write them down when you get a chance. But for now, listen to the sound, listen to what I have to say. So, see you later is going to be, in Spanish, different ways. You have different ways of saying the same thing, which is a good thing, because if you forget one way, you always have the other way. I kind of like that. So, see you later can be either way, hasta luego. Now, you remember what I told you, the H is silent in Spanish. So, make sure you don't say hasta. You know, I don't want to hear the hasta. Say it like this. Hasta luego. Simply, okay? Try again. Hasta luego. Very good, very good. All right, look at the next one, which is also see you later. That one might be easier for you, I don't know. So let's try it. Nos vemos. That's not bad, try one more time. Nos vemos. Good. The next one here takes you back to the first one in a way, because you have hasta. And then you've got tomorrow. You know, mañana means tomorrow and also morning. Absolutely. So, that's Spanish for you. So, if you want to say see you tomorrow, you're going to say hasta mañana. Try it. Hasta mañana. That's good. Now, look, what if you want to say see you tomorrow morning? Well, since tomorrow and morning are both the same now, in Spanish, you see mañana for both of them, well, you're going to use them together in the same goodbye, I should say, type deal, you know. So, you're going to be saying see you tomorrow morning and that's going to translate in Spanish as hasta mañana por la mañana. Try it, try that, come on. Hasta mañana por la mañana. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you're getting there. All right, now, if you're not saying it out loud, you're saying it in your head, I know it, because as you hear what I say, it's going through your head. So don't be shy. Nobody's watching you that I know of. All right, so go for it. See you tomorrow afternoon, same deal. Hasta mañana, and you know that afternoon is tarde, so instead of saying por la mañana, you're gonna say por la tarde. All right, let's go. Hasta mañana. Por la tarde. Very good. And now we're going to say goodbye. Adios. It's that simple. I try one more time. Adios. Got it. Just one more time for the road. Ready? Adios. See, we made it even fancier here, okay? But you don't have to be that fancy when you talk. I mean, listen to people when they speak English. You gotta be casual, because if you try too hard, people are gonna think that you're trying to impress them, and you're just here to communicate, you see? So that's a common mistake that first learners make. They wanna show that they know. It's not about how much you know, it's how well you can communicate. Never forget that. That being said, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video, I hope. And like the lesson just said to you, hasta luego.